Hello, this is Hockey Bean, and today we are going into Tumblr to tumble. If you liked the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. I can't believe you want to go to your you don't want to go to your own son's graduation. It's not a graduation. He's moving from the fourth grade to the fifth grade. It's a ceremony. It's psychotic. They keep creating new ways to celebrate a mediocrity. Is this is this me, or is this one of the most relatable animated mo movies ever? That... Dang. That's a ceremony? Your first and last recent emojis are now my... are your gender now. Mine is... B. And people in love. Great. My gender is freaking employed. <laughs> Feels about right. My gender is being held hostage? Hang on. I gotta check. Let's see. My gender is thinking then kissing. I don't even use that emoji. <sighs> Hi, excuse me? I just found out the pro uh, for this online course I'm taking, died in 2019. And he's technically still giving classes since he's literally my prop for this course, and I've learned from lectures recorded before his passing. It's a great class, but what? What happens if you have questions? The Ouija board happens. Hmm. I thought the hide seek game had changed, but it's actually just a fetish couch. This is real. If I just got a new self and your friend and bot, then you feel a tug in your. What the heck? Yeah, can we just not. Why are these. Why? I hope random brands turn their, their logo rainbow for no gosh darn reason. I hope they do it even if it's a desperate bid to seem even supportive. I don't freaking care if it's Chalo. Bud Light, you know, the most unliked beer in the country, made a limited in addition, Rainbow Canada, white men with big trucks. The only people who would probably drink it if it weren't about being in Pride March. Took machine guns on them. Target runs a line I'd of admittedly cringe Rainbow merchandise and is a subject of domestic ter terrorism. A random company going Rainbow for a month is shallow, but it's showing the people that I want to kill us that they can't win. The pride flag will be everywhere and it will piss them off and there's nothing they can do about it. No matter how much violence and hatred they aid the shout, there will be too... I mean, there will be too many gosh darn companies to boycott, to threaten. You don't have to buy crap from them, just use get rainbow capitalism against them. They're mad about homophobes, rainbow themed caskets are on sale this month. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. Let's do it. Hmm. 
when most people draw, first join DeviantArt at a young age, they usually start off posting Sonic the Hedgehog recolors and anime screenshots. But then there was me, making King of the Hill super forms. What the heck? Could you imagine if people talked about Catholicism the same way they talked about, like, indigenous people's religions? Girl in a horror movie holding a Bible open? According to legend, a mob tortured a half-man, half-god, and nailed him to a wooden cross, leaving him to starve to death. But days later, on this very night, they found he had clawed his way out of the grave. Now do us believe wait in line wait for him to rise again. To honor him they have weekly gatherings where they chant, sing and at the end of the, it they eat his flesh and blood. Wow, that's so creepy. It's only a myth, don't worry. I love the fact that this is insinuating that Jesus is going to try to kill these kids. Um he isn't? <sighs> what he says, I'm fine. What he means, in Toy Story 2, Woody's freed as the rarest of toys from Woody's Roundup, but he's the main character of the show. That would mean he would have had a higher production number than any of his co-stars, and in fact, probably would have been made for the longest and earliest of the toy line. Stinky Pete, by being the fan on favorite, must have had a smaller run and lost his toys and would have survived in the 50s as kids would have needlessly to damage or destroyed him, but given the rest of the group and worried the most common. You may think the plot of Toy Story 2 should have revolved around the and Al selling Woody's hat as it would have been the item was sought off to by collectors as easily lost and not attached to an otherwise ace common and doll. But mentally, Al's apartment should have been littered with Woody dolls in various states of damage, all missing hats, and maybe a handful of diesel conditioned and Woody dolls needing a hat, while Sinky Pete is the rarest and most expensive as a collector's item. Everyone's saying that. It's like when he has a limited run or some um, crap like, Y'all tell me the a character that got on, onto the cover of Time Magazine and all, and all this freaking merch didn't saturate the market with Woody dolls in the 50s at the height of capitalism and the baby boom? Yeah, what? Real life be like 1987 Woody doll. 16... Hundred dollars. Toy Story for Aspector. Oh, whoops. Kinda went too far there. Your error is in assuming that what is is rare because few Woody dolls were made. Not the case. Many Woody dolls were made, and because of their popularity, they were sold in play with until they were wrecked. And this being the 50s, thrown out. The plastic Woody. You've got there well the last for civilizations, but our Woody, with its cloth body and its aging 1950s fabric, by the 80s, most of these would be wrecked. Cloth body stuffed toys have a very short shelf life I once they're out of the world. So are Woody in the attic for 10 years, and the mice get or the mold, or the simple weight of type loses the bindings and makes his limbs unravel. And the voice box, with an intact, still functional drawstring? Do you know how often those things jam? Woody is unique because he seems to belong to a family that takes unusually good care of their toys, going so far as to fix them. Toys from the 50s are not in any way, shape, or form equivalent to modern plastic toys or even Beanie Babies, which were sold primarily with a view to the long-term collector's market. There is absolutely nothing weird or strange in a Woody doll surviving in such good quality into 1999 being noticeable. His popularity high production rate has zero 
or impact on inter- or its survivability. Indeed, that high production rate would have even introduced a lot more manufacturing defects into the shift what it does, creating an overall decline in quality. Just because it separated the market is no indication of longevity. Yes, Al sure has, has a lot of waste stuff, and Moza is very rare for a good comparison. Point hop over to eBay and start looking for vintage, no old package, howdy duty dolls from the 1950s, not 70s, re releases with 70s materials, but the 50s ones. So I judge the quality, the faded fabrics, the dirt, the smudges, the ding- dinginess, and you'll begin to to see why Al freaked out so much. He didn't just find a Woody with a hat. He found a Woody who was clean, with no chipping on the hard painted face, with hand stitch hat, hat whose hand stitch hat hand lost in stitching, whose arm break could be repaired by a master who knew what they were doing. A hundred thousand Woodies might have been made in, in the fifties, but never that survived to the present and day out of box, out of the hands of collectors, in good enough shape to polish up into museum quality condition, I'll find out the treasure of a lifetime. Fun fact, according to the wiki, Woody's full name is Woody Pride. Woody is proud of us. Scooby-Doo, I have come for you. I looked into this, and this is not Scooby-Doo, but instead a robot dog built to look and act like Scooby-Doo who has been accepted into the Doo family after the canonical death of Scooby-Doo. This post came dangerously close to having me Google Scooby-Doo family tree, but that's not the kind of life I want to live right now. <laughs> this is bad. I made you a cookie, but I fricked it with my wiener until there was nothing. Can we all just take a break from posting? Yeah, sure, I need to go make another cookie anyway. Not again. Uh. How? This is gonna be great. Okay. So my grandpa ate half a quart of paint today thinking it was yogurt. Update. His stomach's completely unfazed. Sweet Jesus, Grandpa! That's not yogurt. You're eating bear. Or 8484 Seafoam Green! My stomach is unfazed. My goodness. Like, jokes aside, I'm so scared it's at. I hope he's. I really hope he's. Well, okay. Don't worry, he's okay. He posted on Instagram a few days ago. Barely ate paint this morning, but no regrets. Boys in control laughed at me, but they said I'll be fine. And he posted this recently as well. Baked beans is buried in paint. So yeah, it's really strange that I went through that, but at least it's healthy and safe. I did see the last picture last time. The only version of this I read blog because I am thankful he is safe. It's not going to talk about the fact that his username is Bobby Bitch. What a legend. That is pretty legendary, yeah. I like the term gallows humor because it always makes me think of someone getting sentenced to death. I mean, like, I have got to be the funniest person at my public execution. Your impending execution should be your second priority. Your first priority should always be your commitment to the bit. Honestly, go out like a William kid. I might die today, but you, ooh, 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 dumb fricks, are never going to find my treasure. Uh, 
I never get tired of the thing where fantasy book book name books names and something by calling it a word but capitalizing it like oh shit that person is a wielder the supernatural ability to see beyond matter are called the sight forces of light and darkness the prohibited art of knowing a place simply known as the light awesome and horrible forces to force you know something's getting better when fancy capitalism comes into the picture, as in capitalizing the letters, not the unholy act of seizing fancy itself into, in order to turn profit off, off of it. That's the work of evil creatures, like the mouse. There's words, and there's names. How chicks put on lipstick. I can't stop seeing the beaks' mouths so all of them are just. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I thought these were grapes. Why would grapes need to put on lipstick? To feel beautiful. Oh no. This is gonna be good. You know it's gonna be good because it's a poem. Roses are red, storm clouds are gray. There is no war in Bossing Say. Poetry is great. Let me try. Roses are red, some tulips are black. And then the Fire Nation attacked. Roses are. have bloom. The ground is muddy. My girlfriend turned into the moon. That's rough, buddy. Alright, one more. <sighs> I wish I could fly. I wish I could walk. I wish I could swim. Goose could do all three. You lucky boy. This is why geese are so arrogant. All right, that was fun. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I don't know what's happening tomorrow because I haven't made the plans for tomorrow because I never make the plans for the next day unless I'm actually doing it on the same day as the other video. And I'm not recording another video today because I am exhausted. So if you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Until then, goodbye!